Newton's uh, heartfelt message in his latest Instagram post has fans everywhere talking. So in the post, Luke Newton looks visibly sad as he warns his followers about fake accounts scamming people in his name. Well, it's a rare and raw moment where the actor steps out of the spotlight to protect his fans, showing just how much he cares. Now, this post has sparked a wave of concern with fans flooding the comments to express their support and appreciation, but it's also ignited a larger conversation about the dangers of social media and the importance of staying vigilant online. Good morning. Um, I wanted to try and stay off the internet as much as possible this weekend, but I just saw Luke's post and I chose music for my post that reflected how I thought he looks. He looks really sad, y'all. And I have noticed a trend recently where people really believe like there's so much more he should or could be doing. And um, I wanna dig into that a little bit. But I also wanna dig into something that was sent to me earlier today. It is a scary time politically right now. I live in the United States. It's really scary politically for us. Um, the next national election that we have could really control our Supreme Court, which handles any kinds of um, decisions on any type of legalities. And in addition to that, this next election could severely um, affect rights of people to access education, rights of people to um, have control or decision, body autonomy, essentially. So part of my escape from all of the political nonsense that's going on in my country, and by the way, I am politically active, I'm registered to vote, um, I advocate for my own personal viewpoints, but I'm not going to get into those. What I am going to say is that this was an escape for me. The Bridgerton Book Club, The Bridgerton Show, Lucula, it's been a nice escape. It's been a nice vacation from the realities of my everyday life. And I've noticed recently that it seems like no matter what Luke Newton does, it's not enough. Um, he can post, and if he doesn't post the way people like him to post, then they take issue with that. Um, he can share a story. Um, he's not being supportive enough of Nicola. He's not promoting his season enough. He promoted his season too late. These are all the kinds of things I've been hearing lately. And the subtext of today's post I think is probably twofold. So the first is obviously if somebody reaches out to you <laughs> claiming to be him and it's not that username on Instagram, it's not him. I think that's easy and straightforward. But the second thing is the pain and hurt in his eyes and expression. And the fact that he's telling us not to believe everything you see online. I think so many of us, and I'm talking about people who live in the U.S., I'm talking about people who live in the, you know, in Europe, in other countries, are dealing with political issues. We have multiple large-scale wars going on that are hurting people, right? People are being hurt on a daily basis. And for some of us, those wars are closer than others geographically, right? And that brings a lot of tension and a lot of resentment. Taking all of that out on one person though, isn't healthy. It's not, 
he can't be the internet's boyfriend because he's just a person. He's an actor. He's a great actor. Triple threat. Has a lot going for him. But he can't be all things to all of us or to Nicola or to anybody. And we may not agree with all of the choices that he's made, but he has experienced harassment in spades. He has experienced... I think probably loss of some opportunities. He's had to essentially go underground and stop posting. Um, When he posted a comment on his friend's page, she had to moderate a barrage of hate comments. When his groomer tried to do a post about, you know, when she did his hair and um, got him ready for a magazine shoot, She got a ton of hate on her page. His family has been put on blast. It's been really, really hard to watch. And from what I see, the troll pages are continuing to try and spread hate toward him. They're continuing to try and get people. So now, you know, they want people to contact Dumois asking about the state of his relationship. First of all, if that is what I suspect that it was, which was like a possible deal with someone, either exchange for information, in exchange for promotion, or possibly a paid deal by someone maybe who would benefit from the exposure. But either way, I don't think she's going to answer that question if it doesn't benefit her. I could be wrong. But lots of pictures have come out to the contrary, and and she hasn't been posting those or reporting on those. I don't think that we're going to get answers from either of these people about their relationship status or anything else until they're good and ready to share. Right? If we look at Tom Dea, which is one of the ones that I think is frequently compared to um, Lucola, they actually ended up getting photographed kissing in a car, and that's how their relationship was revealed, but it still took Tom some time to post a sweet birthday message to her, Um, and celebrities are allowed to have private lives. Like, for me, I think when I watched them together in interviews... I really wanted that kind of connection and love for both of them. I wanted them to have that kind of happiness together. And I wanted them to be able to be a power couple and support each other as they reach for their goals. I think it's hard to have watched a group of people who he cared and trusted probably try and undercut him most likely. I think it's also equally hard having so much pressure applied to that situation. Because at best, even if he and Nicola are back together already, it's a couple of weeks ago. We can't expect them to come out with that type of information. Um, And no matter how much we may not care for some of the behaviors and actions of the parties who are involved in this situation, Forcing them to admit a breakup through an outlet that caused so much chaos for the Bridgerton crew and family is really low. And when you look at the hurt in his eyes, I just have to ask, is that the goal? I, I just, I can't relate to that. I can't relate to causing somebody that kind of pain. I know he's not on TikTok, um, but he does have his DMs open from the Instagram post. And so if you want to send him some kindness, you can. I genuinely hope that, you know, I, I harbor no illusions that either of these people have any idea of who I am. 
I am a very small creator on TikTok and I'm sure it doesn't matter. But on the off chance they see this, I hope they know how much the fans appreciate them. And I hope they know that our Lucola shipping has at heart really wanting them to be happy and have the kind of love that they seem to have for each other. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Luke Newton's emotional post is a reminder to all of us. It is a reminder of the darker side of social media, a place where scammers can easily prey on fans trust and uh, admiration for their favorite celebrities of course his decision to speak out not only shows his uh, dedication to his fan base but also highlights the growing need for awareness around online safety the fact that a tiktok creator like caroline found this moment so relatable has resonated deeply with people providing that even in the digital age authenticity and concern for others can cut through the noise. As fans, it's very important that we remain cautious and informed, remembering that behind every account and message, there is either a real person or someone with less than honorable intentions. So Luke Newton's message is a wake-up call to protect ourselves and each other in an increasingly connected world. Do go on, share your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this?